you are an amazing wife and I need to let you know something. I haven't been completely honest with you recently. I have been honest, but in certain facts, I have been completely and utterly dishonest. But don't worry, I have a good reason. I am currently driving while you think I am working at the office. And I am leaving and I am going to the airport. And I am picking up a friend of yours, Kate. I've been scheming for a while trying to keep this under the radar. I don't think I've given anything away, but we've had a couple conversations where I thought about giving up. I thought about giving in because with the false schedule I've given you for the entire weekend, which does include some real things, just so you know, that false schedule is a little frustrating. I asked you not to do a couple things to stay home and to be amazing and watch the girls so that I could do a bunch of stuff. Well, I just want to confess that that was a lie. Actually, it's gonna be the other way around, where you are gonna be doing a lot of things this weekend. And I wanted to surprise you with that, even though I knew it would be tough to sell it to you. So I hope you have been completely surprised by the time you see this. Just know that this is real time. Uh, it is a little bit before 3 p.m. on Friday. I'm heading to the airport to pick Kate up. Uh, we've been texting for the past few days. I have been deleting all the text messages. I kind of, I felt a little dishonest when I was doing that. So, I'm on the way to the airport and I hope you enjoy this short video uh, and your reaction to uh, what I hope is a great surprise because there was this one time while we were dating that you showed up at my doorstep and completely surprised me. While I can't show up at your doorstep now and can, you know, surprise you and confuse you and all those things, I hope that this is something special and I'm thankful that Kate and Jared have taken the time to do this. And I really, really hope you enjoy the weekend and have a lot of fun. I love you and I thank you for uh, sticking with me with going through thick and thin, including moving 1,300 miles away from your family. I'm just super proud of you, and I can't say thank you enough. So anyway, I love you, and I will see you soon. spot <laughs> thanks again I know I don't have really a reason to be but I'm actually kind of nervous like <laughs> at this point you can ask questions and I'll try to lie and even if you figure it out you still have no idea who's coming so I know it's safe I know it's good but still I'm nervous it's weird Okay, Rachel, don't be mad, because I've been avoiding you for a reason. It's actually because I'm in town to surprise you and you don't even know it yet. Walk around the corner or what? She's at the TV. She's coming. I'm like shaking. Hard to I know. Hey, babe.
We got you. I'm proud of your husband for lying to you for like two months. I love you. <laughs> you can turn that off. <laughs>